All right, so I said I was not gonna, this channel is gonna be mostly about Amazon, but you know, I'm still selling on the other four. Poshmark, Facebook Marketplace, eBay, and Macari. Well, you see the title of the video, my relationship with Poshmark is going to die tonight. And uh, as far as Facebook Marketplace, I'm putting it in a coma. I'll possibly wake it up in the future, but it's going in a coma for now. Let me explain why. When you need someone you to talk to, I will be there to give you help. Please change your mind, world easy. Negativity is not an option. When you need someone you to talk to, I will be there to give you help. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is DIY Dollar Bills featuring Gary D, where we talk about selling online, mostly on Amazon, a little touch of other stuff here and there. So, tonight we're going to talk about Poshmark. So, as we all know, we're mainly Poshmark. Let's first get into why. Facebook Marketplace and Poshmark is not worth my time even listing on there. I list stuff on there. Nothing's really selling. eBay and Macari, even in this slow time with the recession, I'm still selling almost daily between the both of them daily, easily. All right. Um, Macari and po eBay, always worth it. Facebook Marketplace, not so much, but that's like i said that's going in a coma that will be woken up possibly woken up in the future but poshmark i'm done I, i'm i'm final death now so what you see here on the screen is my phone look at all these shares i'm getting look at this all right i mean sharing your listing sharing your listing i get some people sharing multiple times in a row look at all that this is all happened on oh, maybe federal uh, email. Okay, look at all that. Oh, Macari. Oh, I gotta receive my funds. See, look at that. Here's a Macari. I gotta receive. That's thirty dollars right there. Uh, a sale. Somebody rated me. I gotta go collect my money. I'll do that after this video. All right. So I got a lot of sharing. So you know, get all these notifications. Pops on the phone. Look, there's two more that just came in now. And I get these notifications. And the reason everything's sharing is because I have an app on here. And let me go to the app real quick. And this app is called Posh Sidekick. All right. And you see, I have a, I did a seven day trial. It didn't even ask me for my credit card and stuff like that. So there's a trial here. And what happens here when I'm going to use my mouse to click, all right, is you see, this is today's shares, 30. My closet was shared 3,700 3, times. Um, I have automated sent out nine offers today. I got 563 follows. Now, the follows are not important to me. All right. So, click on activities here. It's showing what's being, what, you know, what I'm sharing. If there's a party going on, it'll share party stuff. Um, a little while ago, there was electronics. I don't know. If it actually shared, I have a lot of electronics that's not part, but this is all the stuff it shared. Oh, these are look at this seven minutes, eight minutes. So it's sharing my closet. Now we know that we're saying bots are no good to use, uh, but shouldn't Poshmark doesn't like bots. But this one seemed to have gotten good reviews and not any reports of anybody being suspended because of this particular and it's an app. It's the only bot that I know that's an app instead of or on a computer and you have to kind of watch it a little bit. This one is automated. So I've been sharing the hell out of my closet for five days with this app. I got one sale with a profit of $11. All right. I figured I have 200 items in there. So I ha I'm, I've got a lot of items in there. I mean, I still can list another three, four, five, six hundred in there if I wanted to. And I'm, I'm even sending out the offers to people who are liking yesterday seven days so today sent out nine likes today seven offers so what i do is a 10 percent and then a discount on the shipping so people who like my items automatically get a discount um nope i had one person who liked an item and i saw their name they had a similar name on ebay went to ebay and purchased it they went to ebay and purchased the item and its username from Poshmark and on eBay was exactly the same. That's just that that kind of triggered me. 
<laughs> I was like, what the hell? Um, I would have made more profit because I wouldn't have paid for shipping. I would only have paid a dollar for shipping. I was giving a dollar discount if they took the offer instead of the full $5 shipping I had to pay on eBay. So even with the sharing, and there's no way I'm going to sit here all day and click and click, go to the Poshmark and, and click, uh, you know, share, 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 and all that stuff over and over again. This is all my, look at this. All right, people are resharing my listings all over. You know, look at this. Here's an automatic offer I sent to somebody or whatever. Um, there's another offer right there. That was 47 minutes ago. So what happens is I can't delete products that have offers because people have 24 hours to buy. So those products won't be deleted. But as of right now, listing on, it, it takes time. Even using list perfectly to list. It takes time to click through, click, 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 click through. It takes time to click through and go through on Facebook Marketplace where I've had, since I've revived Facebook Marketplace, three sales. I mean, the profit margins that I make combined is not worth the time that I need, that I need where I could be doing that time to research stuff for Amazon. I need that time. So the time I'm doing clicking and, and sending stuff over there where I'm making a total of 70 bucks in the past two months between Facebook Marketplace and Poshmark. Poshmark, I think I've had four sales since I revived it in the beginning of September. All right. Um, so I've had more than $70, but it's not worth it for me to do all that listing, 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 cross-listing, and all that stuff. So what's going to about to happen is here is I'm about to dead that. I'm about to dead um, Poshmark. Facebook Marketplace delete all my listings there. Um and that means probably going to end my stuff with list perfectly because if i'm only going to lift on ebay and macari i can list on macari and then i won't mind copying a, each of the listings over to macari one by one after they're all listed on ebay i don't need list perfectly for that list perfectly was for multiple you know things and even if i list 10 a time it's not worth it for 50 for you know for even 20 dollars a month for me, even though the cost of the software is easily affordable with the profits I make each month, I'd rather invest that money into something else. So, so into more some more maybe some Amazonish type stuff, and I will be getting into another um, line of e-commerce um, at some point in the near future. In fact, in my next video, I'm going to talk a little bit about it. I'm going to go back into it as something I used to do um, quite frequently, and I stopped because I wasn't doing stuff right, but I was making some money. I just wasn't doing it. I wasn't doing it properly, which I, I do have a lot more understanding now. So we're going to um, end this video. We're just saying that's it. Goodbye, Poshmark. Rest in peace. You know, the Undertaker would say, rest in peace. So whatever he does, you know, uh, stuff. And uh, as far as Facebook Marketplace, just I, I can't I can't wait to see how the eyes swim looks when I when I play back my video. I might cut it out maybe. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so this is diy dollar bills i'm gary d stay tuned go check my amazon listings give me a like give me a thumbs up let me know what you guys think i, I like to know what you guys are doing about um poshmark if you guys are having success on it at all anybody is anybody selling on poshmark i know most of my people most of the, you guys who are watching my videos are amazon people and like i said that's where i'm gearing the thing to but I use my profits for eBay. I'm going to continue to talk about eBay and Macari just for the tiniest bit because it's a great idea, people. I'll just tell you this. Selling on Amazon, I, I keep saying goodbye and then I keep going on, right? <laughs> I do that in a lot of my videos. Listen to this very carefully. Selling on Amazon is very expensive as compared to eBay and Macari. So to buy something to flip from eBay to Amazon or from even buying it in a store, retail, Everything you're buying is more retail. When you buy to sell on eBay, you buy more liquidation, wholesale, garage sale, cheap stuff. Cheaper stuff, sell it for profit. If you don't have money to go right into Amazon, it's a good way to go 
is to go to a garage sale, sell stuff on eBay, and take that. Do not spend that profit on yourself. Take that profit and flip it right from eBay to Amazon. In fact, eBay has a way that now you don't have to. They don't. You don't have to cash out the money. You can just spend the money right there. I cash out the money because I flip it into my bank account and I have a one percent credit debit card off my bank account. I don't like using my credit card. I have 5% of my credit card. I just don't like using it. I have a 1% plus I use a 1% cash back uh, on my um, Swagbucks account. So I have 2% cash back on that. That's why I cash the money out. But if you don't do all that stuff, you can spend the, the money right from eBay and flip it right to Amazon if you want to do it. I have plenty of flip mine videos. Another one's coming up. My toy one is coming out soon. All right. So guys, this is it. Say goodbye to Poshmark. Let's say bye bye Poshmark. Bye bye. So, right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. When you need someone you to talk to, I will be there to give you help. Please change your mind, world is you. Negativity is like an ocean. When you need someone you to talk to, I will be there.